Hello everybody, this is ZigZagZog coming to you from somewhere in this world. We're back to continue our playthrough of XCOM Enemy Within featuring the Long War mod. And we are on the ground. I didn't save it in my normal spot. Oops, shame on me. But we are on the ground and ready to go on this terror mission. And uh, not my favorite terror mission map, especially since at quick glance I don't see a lot of civilians on my side of the map. And this is a long, narrow map, so the bulk of the civilians are in the back. Uh, this could be, as far as civilians are concerned, a terribly bloody affair. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, not thrilled with this one. Tell you what, let's uh, get moving and start scouting. Unfortunately, and given the situation and such a long map, I don't even have enough battle scanners to be able to get close enough to try chucking out there to, to save civilians either. So this could be a bloody affair for us. Uh, hopefully not, but time will tell. Let's get our scout moving up first and fast and uh, see what we're dealing with on this very first move. Oh, and we were there. Look at there was a civilian I missed. We had a civilian in our midst. Oh no, that's I don't like having heavy float. That's a four pod heavy floater pod. That does not thrill me. That is a pod that does not thrill me. Yikes. Um, alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's panic. Uh, we got guys in the open in the back, but I'm going to need some of these guys to do some help for us. And the first bit of help I'm going to try to do, so I'm thinking I'm going to shred these chrysalids since they were kind enough. And uh, 1.6 scatter. So if I come up here far enough with my aim, it should not scatter far enough back to pick up my scout there. So that's good. So let's set the scatter right here. So even if it scatters long, we should still hit the chrysalids, get them weakened so we can get them out of the way to focus on the heavy floaters. The only good thing about the heavy floaters is for the most part, they're out of range. Uh, depending on how hard they charge though anyone like my rocketeer and possibly my sniper who do not move and shoot uh, Could be targets next time. We're gonna find out. Let's hope not. Let's hope we can do enough to put a dent in these guys Fire true Martina suck on this. Yes, suck on this. All right. Ooh, did we shred a civilian? Well, it looks like we shred that civilian. I don't know how through the wall and through the window, but I think that civilian showed up as being shredded. Let's see now. We can start off. We're going to have all these guys that can, yeah, all these guys back here can see the chrysalids. So uh, maybe we should focus on them first. We got uh, you right up front, Babe Ruth. And you do not have hollow. But you do have hit and run. So let's let's do this. Let's just start uh, trying to have you cut down their numbers with the easiest ones for you to hit and closest ones for you to hit and the easiest ones for you to kill. So let's start right here. Can't beat 100%. <laughs> kind of wish every shot was 100% sometimes. Good riddance. Good riddance. Um, now you, however... Arden do have the ability and the potential to put on some hurt back here. 62% on the crit. And those are heavy floaters. Let's I, I feel like getting it up, not on here, but on this guy at 92 99% with a hundred percent crit. That's the way to take out a heavy floater. I think we got enough to take care of the chrysalids. So I'm gonna focus you in the distance. And that was the closest heavy floater that might have been able to shoot back at us. So the rest of them, I think, are going to have to move to advance and get us. Um, who can we rely on next to take out some chrysalids? That is the question. We do have Amanda who can uh, run up here pretty good fashion 
Oh yeah, you'd be able to run up here. Unfortunately, we've put you in half cover against heavy floaters. But we may just do that just to get two shots on the chrysalids. And then that means the rest of us will be able to move and fire, and I like our odds to take out one more chrysalid. Aye, aye, Commander. All right, who do we want to work on first? So we work on the big heavy guy or the littler guy. We should be able to take out the little guy. Let's do that first. There we go. And it's not a guarantee looking at his hit points. Ooh, combat rush. Yeah, it's not a guarantee to take out this guy. And there's only a 6% chance of crit, but let's damage him up so we can take him out with somebody else. Ooh! She did it, because that's Amanda. That's who she is. <laughs> um, I think I kind of want to get some uh, Overwatch set up down here. Who do we have moving forward that can take up some Overwatch? Not a lot of really great available cover for all of us. There's very, very, in fact, a limited cover left over for the rest of us. So let's get you up here, Keith. Roger that. Yep, not close enough, so you'll be overwatching. Unfortunately, De Gaulle... Well, if I gotta give you cover and it's about the same distance, we're gonna overwatch from full cover. Van Dorn, cover doesn't matter for you, so let's get you overwatching up here. Okay, let's get you maybe shooting from up here. Ooh, only 46%. We'll try it. Oh, not quite. No and I think here. we'll take my squishy little medic over to some full cover, maybe. And get in position to uh, be able to apply the healing powers that uh, the Boom Shaka has. Without Overwatch. So we'll Overwatch here. And we'll Overwatch here. And hope they do not advance so far to be able to take out these guys standing butt naked out in the open. Cross your fingers. These long pauses of suspense kills me. Okay, they're coming straight back to us. I can deal with that if we can see where he's landing. Civilian. Oh, that's the guy I shredded. So that was an easy kill for him. <laughs> oh no, another easy kill. The only good news about that, sorry civilians, but it wasn't shooting against us. And the problem is, the other guy that came up back here, we don't know where that other heavy floater went. At least not right now. We don't know where they are. There's more chrysalids out there. I heard that noise. Yeah, pounding feet of the old sectopod mectoid variety. Now where, oh where, would that guy have gone? Well, you can't see anybody, so let's uh, at least eliminate down this side. Okay, don't see anybody there. Where would I go if I were a heavy floater zipping up into the air? Do you have enough movement to get to the corner? and take a peek for us. Let's find out. Since you, nobody else is in range for you, we gotta find ourselves a heavy floater and we found him. Oh my lord. And he's big and he's close. At least we're guaranteed a hit with a low level guy. 50% chance for a crit. Oh, 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 nice crit. Question becomes, do we have it within us to get someone else over there to kill him? And we definitely can get someone else over there in the name of Amanda. And that's probably what we'll have to do, because that's about all I can see getting over there to help us out. So Amanda, your run and gun is happening. Uh, just in case we get some kind of worst case scenario where you do not kill them, and that's a definite possibility. We're putting you right here. Roger that. Thank goodness you can jump. Because otherwise, I don't know if your range would have made it. Thank goodness for certain genetic enhancements. Do we have the ability to kill? No, not without a crit. 
Boom, Amanda. Ah, we didn't get it. Ah, we didn't get it. Yikes. Do we have any other outs that can help me out? We do if I want to uh, try and get rid of my... And that's not going to be... That's going to be considered full cover. And you can't even see them from there. You can see it from here and it's not going to be a great shot, unfortunately. Arden, we will try this just because uh, you're the only choice we have at the moment. 69%. Nice hit. No crit, but nice hit. Um, it does mean I might be able to get one of those floaters. Yep. We can get you suppressed at least. I'm rolling. Worst case scenario. Yep, it's a suppression because I'm not going to move at 35%. Um, do we have a shot for you? At 58, we do. So we make it happen here. Come on, babe. Bang one out of the park. Nice. That means we are now on Overwatch with you, Keith. And I'm kind of thinking with Van Dorn, we may just hold you tight. Uh, and then we do whatever we can over here. I sure don't like the idea on a low percentage shot going for this puppy. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, I'm not thrilled with that. I'm not thrilled with that. The other option is uh, high scatter. Oh yeah, that's not good. That's not in the cards. Uh, so maybe we try keeping him put. Because is he... He's not right on the corner, so that wouldn't be a flank shot on Gaul, although it's close range. Um, maybe we just overwatch him to try and freak him out. That seems to be our best play, given the, the percentages we're working with right now. We're going to get you back to full cover, Boom Shaka. You won't be on overwatch, but that's sometimes just the way it is. And uh, why don't Van Dorn, should we move you a little closer... Because even you, did you have sight of him? No, you know, I, at that range you do have sight. So um, let's bring you up, Van Dorn, and see if we can get you here. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, that wasn't hit and run. Yeah, we, I just clicked on you. So if I bring you, how close can I bring you without sight? Yeah, it looks like we can bring you here. So we'll get you as close as we can so he can't just sit there and take a shot at you. And odds are my civilians are going to die on me, but I also don't want us to die. Let's see what he does. This is the scariest one right here. And he runs. Not a great percentage shot through the walls. <laughs> but we got him to do what we hoped he would do, and that is run. And I think a civilian... Oh, double move! That looks like a double move, at least. And we get a hit. Dan Dorn, awesome. Not a great percent for you, Keith, but you do. You finish the job on a 24% hit. <laughs> oh, it's nice when the RNG gods work in your favor. It feels good for a change. <laughs> oh, man. Whew. Okay, chrysalids. Dead civilians. But so far, only four have been lost. De Gaulle, do you have the movement? No, you do not. So uh, what we're probably going to do with you is get you up to full cover. Uh, we're going to try and finish this one off with our tried and true. I think if you stand here, it's not a step out flank. So we got to put you right here, I do believe, Amanda. Roger that. To finish off this heavy floater, who we got to flee away. Can you do it in one shot? Even aiming in the sky, you took him out. And I think we're going to take this opportunity to reload you, get you ready again. And we got to figure out 
what we need to do next. Whew. Well, I think what we got to do is uh, get the team kind of back together in a little better fashion. So we're going to dash you to Gaul up to this window spot. Ooh, we saved a civilian. What do you know? Um, I think uh, probably our best course of action is really not to push up too much. I'd love to run up and grab some civilians, but it's time. After that tough firefight, do we get some reloading in, too? Um, it would also be nice to get a battle scanner tossed, but I think we gotta re we'll reload for get everybody reloaded and positioned and then perhaps toss the battle scanner. Okay. We'll move you up here to some cover finally, Arden, and get you reloaded. Ready to engage. Keith, let's at least have a little overwatch. I'm rolling. Only half cover, but I'll take that position. I've got my eye. Uh, Van Dorn, I think what we'll do is a reload. Do you have lock and load? Yes, you do. So let's reload you and overwatch. Weapons hot. We have eyes on the target. In case we have some ag aggressively advancing and uh, unfortunately we can't really get a rocketeer i almost feel like the rock that really kills the range but i don't like this location because it limits us on how we can fire but let's get our rocket moving forward keep our medic as safe as we can See what we find. Oh, they were close. I couldn't see them in the shadows before. We have a sectopod, and we have chrysalids, and we have a lot activating all at once. We shredded something. Was it a drone? Ah, they're active. And these are some big time chrysalids. And my rocketeer is not in the right place. Whew. What I feel we're gonna have to do, because that's a big old stinking chrysalid who probably has lightning reflexes. Uh, I'm gonna have to bring my rocketeer over here and do kind of a horrible snapshot. I just have to hope it's at close enough range that it doesn't matter. And that means I'm uh, shredding here, and that means we'll have a sectopod that will be unshredded in the back. Times like these, you wish you had a disabling shot, but I don't really have my builds geared that way, and that's something I'll have to look at in any future playthroughs I ever do. Uh, there's certain times where disabling shot would be nice to know you have in your back pocket. <laughs> Working up against a sectopod in the background. Wow. Um can't think of anything else that would soften them up enough except to try this uh, risky rocket and that's a lot of scatter oh boy is that a lot of scatter please fly true Martina Ugh. true enough I think that's true enough to help us out Well, we have you up front. Pretty dang good shot on the first one. Although not a kill shot. Hmm. These guys are tough. Oh! Almost took it out. I'm almost feeling like I want to work on weakening down the next guy. For better or worse. Nice. Amanda, we have you available. You can get a blue move right here to help us out. You can easily take out him. Question being, I don't think you have enough to take out the guy in the back. And we got to worry about putting you in that position that I'm hitting Overwatch territory. So 
So maybe what we got to do is remove the babe first for his hit and run shot here. And Amanda, let's find out what this does. Does that keep you in a ring? That can get you pretty dang far. So if that does break the Overwatch, we do have cover where we can bring you in for two more shots, Amanda. Of course, it may mean you die against a Sectopod. But you are my tank, so if anyone can survive a second pod, is that the right way to think on this one? I don't know with half cover if that's the right way to think. But it's kind of the way I'm thinking. So babe, let's let's practice some hit and run here. Solid copy. Lightning reflexes. Never fun to run against a sectopod. And there's oh mectoid in the background. At least the Gaul still has cover, and we activated them. Hi, yi, 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 yi. Okay, can you hit and run this guy out of existence, please? And what is your shot here? How much damage can you do? Not enough. Um. Still not the kind of damage we need to take a lot of folks out of here, and I have not an I have nothing to really deal with that sectopod right now, except maybe suppression. But we're gonna go back to the guy in the front, the big bad mean chrysalid. We wear him down. hit the chrysalid in the back who's going to be hard to hit and this damage ain't going to matter on the sectopod especially if we're going to suppress so uh, Arden let's see if you can take out this big bad chrysalid in the back it says 14 damage he's shredded I'm going to count on it for you being able to take him out <sighs> dwindling down let's make sure my suppression as I hope Cannot see the sectopod, but we can move you up, Keith, uh, if we have to. Is this close enough to see a sectopod? No, I don't want to get in range of the mectoid. I really don't. So maybe it's good to come here. Of course, those sectoids that scattered could then flank me. But I can at least suppress from here. Is it better to go here and risk overwatch? From the out of currently out of sight guy oh, I wish I wish I wish I could get up there this is close enough to suppress dang why couldn't this be one space closer because I think if I come this far forward I hit into mectoid territory, so let me think, 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 and think again. 71 on the chrysalid. I worry most about the chrysalid. Let's stay where you are. Two shots at 71. You can hopefully get it done, Van Dorn. And I prefer what you just did with one shot. Drinks are on me. Yeah, here we go. Um, De Gaulle, you are not in sight of the sectopod. So I think what we're going to do... I really want to get... Keith, I really want to get you up there to suppress that guy. Instead of Overwatch. And let's see who else we got left. A medic. Who, after this battle, we may just need well I can see from here that leaves Babe Ruth just blowing and flapping in the wind there's really no sense running overwatch with you you don't have lightning reflexes
Uh, be nice to be able to get you up here, but we, we run the overwatch on the hidden mectoid, and that's never a smart move. Uh, so we have to hope you have it within you to take out one of those drones here, Amanda, and your running gun will be available next turn if we need it. I'm kind of thinking there, you know, maybe we don't have to worry about activating any more pods after this, and let's hope a few civilians maybe die. We can afford it, right? <laughs> thinking selfishly uh, instead of ourselves. So let's come here in full cover. See if we can take out a drone. Yes. Um, no, I'm not. But I, but I, but I also know that if I just put you on Overwatch, uh, we can still get a shot from you, Boom Shaka, from your full cover here. It's not a great percent shot, but we're gonna take it. Stranger things have happened, but not from you today. <laughs> oh boy. And if I Overwatch to kind of protect against uh, advancing mectoid sectopods. You know the drone is the one that's going to move and run the overwatch. So I feel like, well, I'm going to have two overwatches though, right? Well, let's just try and solve this with this shot and see if we can get lucky. And we do. That means I have overwatch against uh, potential advancing mectoid and sectoid. Of course... There are escort sectoids for the mectoid that could uh, ruin all that too. So we have a lot of ways it can go bad, but let's overwatch with you, Keith. And let's hope he goes against a civilian. Oh no, that's 43% shot is not healthy. <sighs> oh, 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 oh. oh, do you get a second? Yes, you do. You're a mech, you're a sectopod. Oh, please, camera pan. Oh, zombies. So the chrysalids have been busy in the background until we caught up with them. <laughs> Who expected the zombie to run my Overwatch? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's also not good. Is there a civilian somewhere around that can take the wrath? No, Van Dorn. You are the tanky guy taking the hit, but he missed. Holy crap, he missed. There's a lot going on right now. There is a lot going on. And my first thought is going to you, Martina. Do you have an unsteadied rocket within you that can help us out? 1.7 scatter unsteadied right there. Boy, please, fire true. Nice rocket. If ever something has helped us. Now the, uh, the sectopod go on automatic overwatch or am I safe to move? I, I don't know. I don't know on that one. That's a tough call. Uh, what I may do is look at moving my, uh, <laughs> I'm moving Babe Ruth out of the way to better cover. Not that uh, the sectopod can't blow right through the walls of this shed right here. Yeah, you temporarily still have a wall left. Um, I'm kind of wondering if we can get some hit and run shots and see standing wide out in the open if I move you back here, Babe Ruth. Let's find out. Let's hit true. Please, hit and run. Yes. Oh, and we got a crit. We must have somehow. It was a 28% chance because regular straight shot, he was not destined to make the kill. That means, Arden, we can put your shot where we hope it counts against the sectopod in the back. And that has precision shot to it. No sectoid, no sectoid, yes, sectopod. 
82% chance crit. We need a big ol' bit of hurting right now, and that is your specialty, Arden. Tell me a story, please. Make it a good one. 20 crit. Nice start. Now, however, I am thinking uh, I might want to bring you up just close enough, Keith, to suppress and hollow for the rest of our shots. Even though it's half cover, this is a time where I think half cover and suppression will work for us. Nobody's on Overwatch that I can see. We have the ammo for suppression. Let's get it on the right guy. I've been known to click too quick <laughs> and pick the wrong guy, but this time we got it narrowed down. Hollow that bugger. We got two of them suppressed. So two out of three are now suppressed and hollowed. We're gonna bring you up, Van Dorn. Approaching target now. We're gonna give your best sectopod shot. 96%. I like it. 10 more damage. Not sure how long I can maintain this. We need 10 more to kill it. This is what we need. What kind of a shot are you going to have? Low level the gall guy. 33%. Oh, you cuz you're not close enough to hit the sectopod. I got to I got to whip you out to half cover. Let's find out. Let's find out. Do it, can I do it? Can I do it? Retreat. He's suppressed though, so hopefully you're not in too much danger. 90. Come on, man. We need to hit. Nice. We're still lacking on hits. We still need more hits. That leaves us with just these last two, I believe. Boom shaka, we can get you, I think, close enough for a shot. Can you be? The next iteration of a killing medic, the kind I love. 77 is not a guarantee by any means. Oh, 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 oh. oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And now, uh, without being shredded, is your shotgun going to be enough, Amanda Panda? I almost feel like I want to run and gun you up extra close but I also know that's very dangerous you know if I did hear they'd feel like they have to run one of them is suppressed so technically I may not be in that much danger for a for a second shot and I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm thinking yes that's probably oh, there's one more hidden sectoid out there though but that is, there should be no more pods. Please, this has been bad enough. Um, I know we've played games, but you are a tanker also. Um, so if you took a couple sectoid shots, maybe it's not the end of the world. And I feel better about having a chance to kill the sectopod. Now, the sectopods explode. That's a tough call. I do not know the answer to that off the top of my head. I know cyber discs do sectopods. So I think we're gonna run and gun you up close. Here. Also make sure it's a flank, so we have potential for crits there. And you're still, even though it's close range, under cover from the sectoids. Half cover, but you make you make half cover work, don't you? I was like, what the, where the heck are you going? You and your bouncy legs. Should be enough. Right? <laughs> I'm crying right now. I'm crying right now. He's suppressed at least. Oh. We forgot about that one. De Gaulle is down. He's so weakened that he missed at that close range. Is that true? There's the other sectoid. We now know. Yikes. Said De Gaulle was killed, I think. Oh. 
So that civilian's not dead from the mind fray. That civilian is dead. Okay, Amanda, you got some shots in you. Let's finish what we couldn't finish before. A little sober note to have the soldier down. It never feels good. And he did explode. I'm glad we weren't closer. Wow. Um, let's take care of some more sectoids. Now who's down? De Gaulle? Is he bleeding out? or is he? I heard a beep, beep, beeping for a while, but I think he's bled out. I think we've lost De Gaulle because I don't hear the beepity beep beep. He is just down and out. So we got to get uh, some better cover for you, maybe, Keith. I'm on the move. I can only see one, and you. Oh, that's not you. That's Babe Ruth. What am I? What am I thinking? Um, we can still. We're gonna try. It's still pretty good with our pistol, and we should be able to take him out. Means there's another sectoid out there. So uh, we're going to reload, not the laser pistol though. At least the hit and run lets us reload. Reloaded. Unlike double tap. Uh, we're going to need to reload here. Who do we see? Oh, there's a sectoid over there. I, I didn't even notice that he had moved, but we would have had sight, Arden. But we're happy with the damage you did. Now, can we just move you closer? We can. Uh, we have other people we can move closer to that are safer, though, since he can't take cover anyways. Ah, 84% miss. Ben Dorn, I'm disappointed. No joy here. Uh, we're going uh, to steady just in case. I think that's the last enemy right there. Uh, we're going to try on your last shot to get you a, a hit. Boom shaka. Third time was not a charm. You're just missing, missing, missing. Oh, we do have cover to get you at least, Keith. And we can save a civilian to boot. Okay, 73%. I may just try for that shot. Is there anybody left but you? Well, at this point, he's flanked. He's in the open. We're going to go with the suppression route. Sit down. Dead in the water here. Let's see if he runs out of it. Oh, we missed. I was hoping that would be a better shot. Maybe I should have gone with 73 He's running hard, and he's running fast, uh, but he ain't gonna get away from Amanda. That's affirmative. Nailed him. Got no Everything by the All right, numbers. we lost one. Uh, about the only positive I can say about the one we lost is uh, De Gaulle, at least you were low level. <laughs> Uh, but we add another name to the in memoriam wall. Uh, never a good thing. Uh, but we ended up saving way more civilians than I expected on this uh, stretched out map. Uh, we managed to, to take out some tough enemies. So overall, despite the loss, I kind of got to feel a little good about this terror attack for a change, even though we lost someone. from Keith that should be your final promotion Martina gets her final promotion some great promotions from this one but Charles asparagus the great asparagus de Gaulle has 
hit the ground not to rise up anymore we should have a lot of good I was thinking we get even more alloys from this uh, based on the enemies but I'm happy with what we got Uh, damaged armor due to the gall, but we at least can fix it. And uh, Operation Silent Mother, we're about to give a Remember, moment of silence we will be for the gall. And let's take a look at the memorial. One, two, three, four, five. We've now lost six soldiers in this uh, long war that we've been going through. Four missions for De Gaulle taken out by a sectopod. Those dang explosives. Wow. All right, I'm going to take a quick break and then we'll go see if we can't find our next mission. All right, before we get going uh, back out there, I want to take a quick look at the Situation Room, see what the panic over there in Europe is looking like. It's not too bad, even though it increased a little bit. Um, we still got one more satellite to get up over there. Let's make sure. I'm pretty sure we have it under construction right now. Um, but let me just make sure. Expand the event list. I sure swear we started building another satellite, but now I can't remember. What's this? A floater captive. We have four, four floater captives for engineers. Well, we can afford one captive, so we're going to do that for three engineers. Um, I don't know why I clicked out here. Odelia is back to duty. Also, we better not get a mission within less than one day or I won't have a team to be able to take out without massive double fatigue. Um, where was I trying to go? I was going to go here to uh, build by items. And do I have... I don't have enough money here, I know, but don't I... Do I have... does not have, oh I can scroll down here we go okay I do have another satellite available in 16 days so I do have another one being built uh, with that being said our air game is not in stellar um, situations so what I'm gonna do is visit the gray market uh, sell a little bit uh, to get another one uh, or need to let's just get up to 150 so I need about let's just say I need another 80 And we'll just sell that amount right here. Let's get it. In fact, let's make it nice, at least a round number for me. 380 mil left. Let's go buy that other satellite and then get out there and search for our next mission. And unfortunately, with everybody fatigued and whatnot, I can't get my next operative. I've been wanting to get into the side training. Got to get that going, too. There's a lot going on that needs to happen. But we're going to have another backup satellite because we do tend to have ours get shot down here, don't we? And it's time to get out there and find our next mission. A lot of soldiers coming back. South Africa now has withdrawn. We finally lost poor South Africa. So we no longer, I believe, have the continent bonus anymore. I don't know. I believe we lost it because of that. We got our aim built. We got some more dodge built. Right now, dodge is more important to me than aim. Can we afford any more dodge? No, we cannot. And what do we know? Because we're we we are gonna have to be very careful with our dodge because we need cyber disc wrecks, and those are few and far between. Uh, so so much for more dodge. Yeah. 
We've completed our Psi Warfare System project. Contact detected. Map of Earth, a large abductor. We probably have an abduction mission coming up. Um, I'm gonna let this one fly because I don't think, yeah, I don't have the, the punch or the desire uh, to go against such a big with just, just these vessels here. So let's do a defensive uh, quick peek. This puppy's probably going to land. No joy yep, here. that's more likely. Hopefully we have our next abduction coming up, our next mission coming up. Let's go find out. There it is. Commander, we have multiple San Antonio. Of abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the hologlobe. And for a change, only a moderate on this one. So uh, let's get the team put together. As you know, um, I'll be right back with the team we pick out. All right, we got the team picked out for this roadway mission uh, in San Antonio in the U.S. Uh, leading off, and you'll notice we have no medic on this one. So actually, that just made me think I should probably sneak somewhere in here a token med kit, and that's something I didn't do. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum. Hang on while I figure this one out. All right, Kristen, instead of the armor-piercing ammo, you're getting a med kit. And that's probably... And boom, boom, your aim's pretty good. I'm going to bring a second one just in case. Uh, we're going to take away the scope and uh, do one more med kit. Then I'll feel comfortable. Well, <laughs> more comfortable than I was. All right, so let's uh, get back. We got Glenn Freaky Friendly uh, leading off the team as our gunner. I'm gonna have two gunners on this team. In fact, I gave both gunners the long range guns. Uh, the, what is it, the Gatling laser is the long range laser. And since I only have one Gauss long range machine gun, um, uh, I went with one of these guys having a laser. I gave him the laser freaky friendly because uh, there's a chance he'll work on some psi abilities and have a chance he has an enhancer along with him to help him out with that um boris boom boom becker is our standard infantry build uh alexis teach it drag is back to hopefully teach those aliens a lesson uh here's one we haven't seen in a long time odelia the pitbull busty is back she was injured long ago on one of the last exalt missions and uh, she is finally back with us. It's been a long stretch. Glad to have you back, Odelia. Uh, Jeffrey Goldfish Drag will be our concealment scout to help us uh, maybe get farther down the road uh, to get some long-range shots uh, spotted for us. Uh, Kristen Nitzer Drag, like I said, the other long-range gunner. We are able to bring a uh, Rocketeer, Edgar Allen the Raven Poe, and uh, Tamir Shalom Busti is along. Another uh, Psy assistance kind of a thing to help with the will. Uh, to see if we can't work on two different uh, soldiers' psi abilities. Hopefully at a little bit longer range on a roadway, it'll come in handy. We will find out. He gave a, We gave him more of a defensive build to take out with him this time um, with some smoke to hopefully see if we need protection. Hopefully he'll be able to provide it. And there is the team. Let's get out there and see exactly what kind of roadway we're dealing with. Seems like we've been getting a lot of roadway missions lately. Um, but they've been working out kind of okay, so let's see if this can't follow a long line and uh, we keep healthy on this one. Prepare for deployment, strike one. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within uh -huh. the continental United States. I never updates from the ground indicate the aliens are moving within the city limits. We should get down there and secure the area as quickly as we can. Excuse me, Bradford. I thought you were done. I started to cut in there. <laughs> uh, Operation Driving Throne, San Antonio, United States. 
Uh, this is one we haven't seen until I think last time we saw this was on a um, an exalt mission. This is kind of the square in the middle, I think, with a bus off to one side. Uh, that particular map. So that's the roadway we have. Um, we're set up for some long distance shooting on this one. This is more of a eh, probably less prone to the need for long range, but uh, we'll try to make use of it and get enough sight lines for our guys to make this thing happen. It's a moderate mission, so maybe not quite as crazy as some of our last missions. Um, but it's by, by the same token, sectopods can still be there. All the toughies can still be there. So um, join me next time to see if we can make this thing happen. This is Zigzag Zag signing off from somewhere in the world. I uh, hope, hope you can hit me a like, a dislike, leave me a comment, let me know what you're thinking, and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Where she's